The snowy back roads of eastern Ukraine lead to the front lines of this ongoing war between the National Army and Russian-backed separatists. They get to the front in a converted and battered old ambulance. This isn't a high-tech army. Our journey took us through the heavily mined countryside. The red signs warn of the danger of leaving the road. The separatist positions run parallel to us all the way. We're with the 24th Battalion of the Ukrainian Army. They're taking us to a village closed to the outside world. Only 11 of the original 200 inhabitants remain. It's not near the front line, it is actually the front line. And there's fighting here all the time. The shooting is virtually constant. Some major rounds being exchanged as well. And that's what it's like for the villagers who live here. Every single day, they listen to this shooting. This war has been going on for years now. And it's not reported much, but they're still fighting every day. After eight years at the center of this war, there's not much left of Novo Alexandrovka. The houses are battered and largely empty. The soldiers say that most of those who remain stay indoors, particularly in winter. But 73-year-old Helena welcomed us inside. She told us how all of her windows were smashed by bombs during the worst fighting. It is so bad at times she lies next to her brick oven for protection. Clutching her important documents, prepared to run if she has to. There's no electricity, no shops or medical services, but she's got nowhere to go. More importantly, she doesn't want to go. To put it simply, Helena is tougher than all of us. From their overwatch positions on the roofs of houses in the village, the soldiers keep a continuous eye on the separatist positions about a hundred meters away. They say they've been at war for eight years already and rarely, if ever, discuss a Russian invasion, although they accept it could happen. The risk is always that there is always an attack from the side of the opponent, then we are here, in principle. Along a 250-mile demarcation line, the two sides day and night exchange fire from their trenches. Beneath ground, the job of preparing for fighting never stops. A bloody eight-year conflict that could be about to get even worse. Stuart Ramsey, Sky News, Eastern Ukraine.